Thanks for joining us again. Uh, lockdown 2.0 at the moment, about a week and a half in. And uh, I thought it was about time I uh, pulled together another bit of a vlog. So uh, the, the, uh, the vlog's electrification of the Brompton. Uh, we decided we'd get a new bikes. We had mountain bikes that are a bit big for the caravan and no use at all for the narrowboat. Uh, so when we get the narrowboat we wanted bikes that would fold up. So we did a little bit of research and we decided that the Brompton bike was the one to get. I think the only difference really is it falls into thirds, uh, becomes much more compact. I'll put, I'll put a video on of me uh, attempting to fold one up. It's not the slickest fold up in the world, but uh, at least you can see it, it is pretty compact. So here goes. First thing you do is release the clip where the seat post meets the frame and swing the back wheel underneath the crossbar. This actually acts as a stand for the bike. You then just need to put the pedals in the right position. One of the pedals folds up on the far side. Then undo the clip on the middle of the crossbar, a quarter of the way along the crossbar. And then it's like a twisting action to hook the front wheel onto the frame supporting the rear wheel. Once that's done, you undo the clip on the handlebar stem. That just gravity swings around and clips into a holder. Then the seat drops and you just pick it up by the seat. So we've got the we've got the Bromptons ordered back in August of uh, last year. Brompton's pretty good make. The, 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 they've got a bit of a cult following. A few advantages is it folds up easily and compactly. It's British made. It's handmade. Uh, disadvantages are they're a bit like hen's teeth and they're overpriced in my view. However, we still decided to go the Brompton route. We also decided we'd go electric. The main benefit is that we could travel a little bit further when we're, when we're cruising around in the boat or we're touring around in the caravan. It enables us to, to go a little bit further. Obviously it comes no surprise, I'm not the fittest person in the world. So electric is probably the option when it comes to going up hills. Particularly if you're going from a boat, down a towpath, up a hill to a shop, getting a load of heavy stuff like milk and beer and trying to get that back to the boat in one piece. So yeah, electric looked like the option. The Brompton electric was way out of our reach. I mean, we haven't won the lottery. They're about 2,950 quid each, something like at the moment, which is way out of our reach, as I say. So we decided to go for the Brompton bike and get an aftermarket kit to go on it. Did a bit of research on that and found that the the kit we we thought was probably the best was the switch kit. Uh, it's it's a motor front mounted on the front mounted wheel. It just gives power assistance. Uh, it doesn't really take over your your pedaling altogether. So we get a certain amount of fitness. But uh, yeah, that was that was the plan. And I think the the bike. Is around about a thousand quid. I think it's probably about eleven seventy-five now. The motor was about seven seven hundred and fifty quid each. So yeah, you're saving a lot more on the cost of a, an all-electric Brompton getting the aftermarket kit. And to be fair, I don't think it's a lot different to to what Brompton are fitting. So we ordered, the, as I say, the, the bike. Two thousand and nineteen August. About three weeks later, we got the bike. In August 2019, we also ordered the electric motor. It was on one of these fund me pages, so there was a little bit of risk involved. But it's a proper company, proper outfit, we did our research. They then had problems in delivery, in that these things were made in Wuhan. And Wuhan was the source of the virus. Now it's under my kitchen table, but there we go. 
uh, was the source of the virus and they had problems clearly before the UK did so Switch had problems getting their people to Wuhan to supervise the manufacture of these things and assembly and then when they got the people there they had to bring them all back for lockdown 1.0 in the UK so cut a long story short we ordered these in the August last year 19 and we received them about two weeks ago three weeks ago so uh, yeah it's, it's 13 going on 14 months since we ordered them so it's quite nice to actually finally unite the the, uh, the Brompton with the with the motor so the plan is today I'll open one of these kits show you the kit what the kit's made of and then I'll fit it on the bike I mean there's loads of videos showing this stuff fitted on the bike switch do their own video I won't need to bore you with that but I'll show you it once it's fitted on the bike and uh, we'll see we'll see what it's like in terms of usability okay well let's get one of these boxes opened and I'll show you what's in it okay well let's open the box it probably says somewhere do not use a sharp knife to open the box but I have got an adult with me Switch your bike electric, welcome to the new Switch kit. Thanks for choosing Make the Switch. Yeah, this is the video, there's a video installation guide that I'll probably need to refer to. And then it suggests you keep in the box for, uh, for retaining the old uh, front wheel. Because what, what you have in the box is the wheel which is the motor now it's, it's a brushless motor which which basically means that it doesn't provide any resistance when when you have no battery power for example or when you want to go and ride the bike without the battery pack on you can actually go and ride the bike and this doesn't resist there's no, it doesn't provide any resistance a few extra kilos maybe but that's about all so it includes the front wheel or the uh, brushless motor bits of packing some zip ties oh, I didn't know they provided those I've got some more on my own a bracket some description that must be for fixing the battery pack onto the uh, handlebars some little nuts screws this is the little contraption Again, some more zip ties. Not sure how many zip ties I think you need. This is the contraption that goes around your uh, pedals, and there's a there's also a little the, the responder that sticks on here, picks up the pedal movement. So as soon as your pedals start to move, that basically turns the the assistance on. And then in here, we have the actual battery pack. So that's pretty small 
if I'm honest. Now in terms of distance, that can take you something like 50 kilometers. Uh, supposed to be able to transport you 50 kilometers, which, which ain't bad. Uh, if it does, let's let's see. Although, having said that, I don't plan on going 50 kilometers really. For some reason, include a Q-tip in there. I'm not quite sure where that is. I think I've seen that Q-tip on someone else's vlog. They have wondered why there's one included, but it maybe becomes obvious later. Then the other bit of kit. These are just packing boxes. What's this thing? This is the actual instructions quick start guide. So there's a handlebar mount, the charger plug obviously to, to, to charge it up and then the uh, universal pedal assist sensor that's the universal one whereas this, this other one that I've got there is the Brompton one they obviously send you the universal one as well this other one is just packing as well so that's the box I'll now get on and fit it on the bike and uh, I'll show you when all the bits are attached Right, that's all the bits on both bikes. Uh, I'll just take you through the parts if you, if you like. Very easy to fit. I would definitely recommend the switch kit and the Brompton kit is very good. So, first bit really is, is the motor in this hub that provide the hub, the wheel. All I had to do is take the old tyre off, put, the, put, put it on, on this existing wheel, fit it in perfectly, no problems at all. That then feeds down to here, just clipped on to the battery pack. The battery pack's removable. The thing that powers this is down this wire here is this sensor, this disc. So as soon as uh, pedals are moved on the bike to propel the bike forward, the uh, front wheel starts up because it's picking it up on this sensor here. As soon as you stop, obviously the motor stops. Do that again. The faster you pedal, the faster the motor wants to go. So that that's pretty neat. Pretty neat, I would definitely recommend it. So you've got the battery pack. I had to charge that, it took, took about three hours. The hub with the motor, brushless motor, so there's no, there's, there's actually no resistance when you, uh, if you want to pedal the bike without, without this all connected. And then the sensor, so all fitted, all stuck on, zip tied. Let's see how we get on outside. I think I might try that tomorrow. Well, curiosity got the better of me, so I've come down to the car park. I hope it's I hope it's bright enough. We'll uh, just get my bike out. I think some people can do this in about five and a half seconds. I think I've got a long, long way to go. So a battery pack goes on here. See? 
power on. And we'll see. I forgot, I forgot how to ride this thing. It's really, really good. You can't actually tell there's a motor assisting you. I'm going to make it a little bit more powerful and see how it goes from there. Yeah, I think that's Actually, tell us more there, but it is much easier to pedal. So yeah, that's a definite win-win. So until next time, like it if you like it. Press dislike if you don't like it, but press it twice to make sure. And uh, if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to comment, and we'll uh, see you next time.